you like to take some tonight? Yeah, I'd I like to take some calls, but I, I, I don't want to. I want to take some calls, but people that are really hurting in a serious situation, people that say, "John, I'm at the end of my rope." People, I want to commit. Su- I want to commit suicide. I'm oppressed. I, I, I don't know how to get back to God. I don't. I, I, I don't know if God even exists. Uh, you know, I would like to take those kind of calls because we we in a season that Christmas is awesome. And there's also other sides of Christmas that people are oppressed, depressed, people out, people lonely. I remember when Times Square Church, uh, I remember there was times in my young Christian walk, I would go to church for an hour, two hours, and then come home alone because uh, they didn't invite me anywhere. I wasn't invited anywhere. I wasn't asking, oh, come along to the to the gathering, come along to the Christmas celebration. I wasn't uh, invited. I was a new Christian. I wasn't asked to come to the dinners. I wasn't asked. I would just go to the church for an hour or two. They had a load. Uh, they had cookies. They had, they had a drinks, soft drinks. Then it was time for me to go home, and I would go home to an empty place. So I, I understand that Christmas could have is, is, is size with family and loved ones and friends and fellowships, but there's also a side to Christmas that people that people don't accept invitations. People don't ask people to come. People ask people. Uh, sometimes the Times Square Church ask people come. We you know come for two hours and we'll, 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 we'll talk, we'll fellowship, and then after the person goes home and he goes home to an empty place. So I would like to reach out to some. Some. I mean, not that I'm making light of anybody's situation, to some opportunities to be a blessing to people tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, John, you want to be a blessing to some of the children out there. Yes. Any of them that don't have moms and dads. Uh, yes. They're, they're, they go to school with kids. They talk about Christmas. There's nothing under the tree for them this year. There's no fellowship for them. Some might spend it in an orphanage. But uh, the group that you're working with, tell us about that and uh, what you would like to do to help raise some finances for them this year. Well, this year I like to uh, – I, tw- I, I set apart 25 bucks of my, my books uh, as you know, a donation – uh, to anyone out there that would like to put a donation for fifty dollars or better, any, anything that you can give from fifty dollars and up, I send you a book, sign, scripture, mail it to you for free. Mail it to anyone you want me to mail it to for, for free. And if you wanted to give something to someone that is in need that doesn't have a Christmas to share, a young person don't have a Christmas, a young person that knows that his tree there's nothing going to be under the tree. That God knows where they're at. You know, God knows these kids. He knows who the one that needs to give. That gift is is, is really uh, it's going to show the love of Jesus Christ to the person. I didn't have that. There was no angel tree when I was growing up. Uh, it was just a broken home. So uh, I want to donate the money to uh, either Times Square Church that does Angel Tree, or there's also another ministry out there, don't know the name of heart, donate it, because these are ministries of character, ministries of integrity, ministries that will do the right thing with, with, the, with, the, with the finances, and they will bring it to the right place, and they will bless the right kids. Amen? So I would like to encourage someone, hey, you might know someone is in witchcraft, you might know someone is in New Age, you might know someone that is out of the will of God. You want to, you, maybe you want to bless someone that they, they wouldn't want no spiritual warfare. This is the book that would touch, even if you don't take my word for it, go to Amazon. There's 135 reviews on Amazon. Read those reviews, and then you know that it's not me telling you, it's other people telling you that their life never been the same after they read this book. Amen. Hey, now that's a great gift to give, something that can really help them. You know, how often have you seen people give gifts and then very next day, <laughs> they're back up at Walmart or Target or Macy's, wherever they went, and they're returning it. Uh, they didn't like what they got. Uh, give give somebody, you know, I, I, uh, there's a few years old, and uh, we call her Granny Thomas. And I was trying to think, you know what? Her husband went home to be with Jesus. She doesn't have many, many family members still alive. And um, I wanted to get her something. I was trying to think, what do I do? I, I'm going to get her, I thought I would get her a, either a good book or get her a Bible. And, um, you know, folks, uh, if you want to give something to someone uh, that will bless them, and again, maybe you know someone that is in the occult right now. That will really bless them. Get them out of there. Um, give them, give them a copy of the book "Out of the Devil's Cauldron." That's pretty awesome. It's an awesome testimony. It's a true story, and um, you would really bless them. 
Uh, you can do that by giving a donation over at johnramirez.org. It'll go towards uh, helping the children this year during Christmas, and uh, John will even autograph it and send it to you. Uh, and you could get it in time for Christmas. Praise the Lord. Go to johnramirez.org. John, let's go to the phone lines. Let's see. Amen. We're going to go to the first caller out there. Let's go to 513 area code. 513, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. What's your, what is your name this and where are you Connie. calling from tonight? Connie? This welcome aboard. Yes, I've called before. Hey, Connie, welcome aboard. How can we help you tonight? Well, um, because of this radio show, I'm I'm not depressed this year. Praise and God. God has given me hope. Yes, yes. And um but my daughters I'm I'm I was an S R A and my daughter's still out there in the cult and I know God is gonna bring her in because he brought me in. And so What is her first um, name, Connie? Kathy. We're gonna pray for Kathy tonight. Yes, the Lord did a miracle in your life, didn't he? He brought you in and uh that's yes. gonna lead the way for others to come in your family to Christ. That's right. That's right. And I and I know, uh, listen to you guys, and I know that John Ramirez has been in the cult, and he understands, and um, it's, it's, uh, it's, the devil is real, <laughs> and he, um, he, he's out there to get the kill still and destroy, and that, that's, that's, right. that's, that's what he's out there to do, and, um, but God, <laughs> but God. And he's the one that just got me out of the pit, and he saved me. He literally saved me from hell, um, hell on earth and hell, too. And um, so I know he can do that for my daughter. And um, I am going to get on your um, website, um, Brother John, and I'm going um, to sow a seed because uh, I know God is going to, honor that and he's going to use that you know for another child and that just like you said he takes care of our children Amen. and my sister you know, we take care of. one of the greatest things I share with you one of the greatest things in my life is I have a daughter my daughter is precious to me my daughter is 24 I, yes. I, uh, my daughter was in the yes. occult too I, I devoted my daughter to the occult and God got me out got yes. my daughter out and I, my ex-wife which uh, we friends uh, she was in the occult, and I was always asking God, Lord, I, I brought this woman to the occult. If you don't turn her around, I'm going to have this on my on my conscience forever. And one day I led her to the Lord. So 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 God is faithful. And right. whatever whatever the seed that you yes. sow tonight, you are blessing someone's kid, and God's going to bless your kid. Your kid's mm-hmm. coming home. I guarantee you. Yeah. I promise you, because of the God we serve, not because of me and Shannon, we got nothing to give you, but we can point it to the one that can do it all. Amen. His name is Jesus. His name is King okay. Jesus. That's right. Amen. And we're going to come in agreement, yeah. and we're going to snatch out of the hands of the devil tonight. So, Brother Shannon, open up in prayer, and let's, let's, go, into the, let's, let's go into the devil's territory and go get this girl. Amen. Uh, Connie, her name is Kathy? Yes. Yeah. Okay, praise the Lord. Yeah. Asking people to yeah. touch and agree. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. What, uh, repeat again. I couldn't hear you. Oh, I said I said she has two little babies too, my grandkids. Okay, with her grandkids. All right. Is she your only child, Kathy, or do you have others? Yes. And she's my only child. Okay. Folks, we're asking you to touch and agree in the name of Jesus right now as we pray. Where two or three are gathered, Jesus is in the midst. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come in agreement right now and we lift up. Sister Connie, to you right now, we thank you, Lord, for what you've done in her life and what you're continuing to do to restore her. We lift up tonight Kathy and her grand ch- and uh, the two kids, uh, Connie's grandchildren, to you, Lord. She's still involved in the occult. Father God, we stand in the gap for Kathy tonight. We remit her sins in the name of Jesus. We ask God you to lose goodness and blessings to her, Lord. And bring her to repentance in the name of Jesus. Save her soul, Lord. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bind every foul, wicked spirit operating in or through her in the name of Jesus. And working against her in the name of Jesus. We bind those spirits in Jesus 
Christ's name, and we command those spirits to loose her mind in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over her. Her children, we break every curse, all witchcraft spoken or sent against the county. Kathy, there's two children. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we command it to loose them and go in the name of Jesus not to return. We're asking Father God to do whatever it takes. Bring her in and the children in Jesus' name. Take it over, Brother John. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask right now, Father God, we come in agreement, my God. Right now, we come in agreement, not only Shannon and I, my precious sister, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, the one that had paid the price, the ultimate price at the cross, not only for us, but for Kathy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to snatch out of the hands of the devil. Devil, we break your hands off her in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask you to loose her now in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you send the hound dogs from heaven to chase this young lady down, Father God, that she will come to true repentance, my God, and know that you are the Lord of lords and King of kings over her life. Father, we declare decree the victory over her life. We pray and we break darkness out of her life. We break every pattern, every cycle of the devil out of her mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we break, Father God, every hindrance, my God, every obstacle, my God. We break every roadblock that the devil has put in her life. Father, we sever, we uproot it, we cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil, you have to loose her now in the name of Jesus Christ. We command you to loose her. We attack you from the third position. Sit it with Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you, we have all authority in Christ Jesus. We bind the enemy tonight, Father God. Lord, you said, well, we bind on earth, you bind in heaven. Father, we lose Kathy right now in the name of Jesus Christ, out of darkness, Father God. Lord, as you call me, as you call many, Father, out of darkness, we call Kathy out of darkness. We call her out of the tombs, my God. We call her out of the grave like you call Lazarus. Come forth, Kathy, in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Father, we break, we sever, we uproot every demonic seed that was planted in her mind, every, every, every pattern, every cycle of the enemy to try to brainwash her. We break that in the name of Jesus Christ. We break every spirit of, of been assigned to her to entrap her into this world. We break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broken with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that this young lady will come to the cross. She will come before the year is over. Father, we declare and decree this victory over her life, over her family, over her children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. I agree. And Father God, we bind up and rebuke every spirit that would try to come back as backlash, retaliation, revenge, retribution, hindrance, delay, resistance against Connie, Kathy, and the children yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask yeah. you to surround them with a hedge of protection of warrior angels and a wall fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And in anyone that is praying yeah. against them, Lord God, we bind their strong man and every wicked spirit operating in those yeah. people. In Jesus' name, place those demons in the judgment of the Lord and loose the judgments of God on those demons. Yeah. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask yeah. that you loose warrior angels with swords to go in and begin to attack every foul, wicked spirit that is involved mm-hmm. in that satanic fire ring or coven, that group, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for what you're going to do in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Connie, God bless you for calling in tonight. Yes. Thank you for calling, my sister. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Folks, continue to lift up Sister Connie and Kathy and the two children. Let's go to the next caller. Let's go to 210 area code. 210, you're on with John Ramirez. Hello, Shannon. How are you? Hey, God bless you. Uh, where are you calling from tonight? I'm calling from Texas. This is passion-based. Hey, uh, passion-based. Yes. Brother Rick. How are you doing, Brother Rick? <laughs> yes. Well, uh, I was, I've been listening. I called since Mel Nova, uh, Nova was on the line, but my phone got jammed, so I was not able to. I lost you all. Well, and welcome I back. Just, uh, yes, good to be back. Well, the thing is, uh, I go see the doctor, and they the only thing that I have problems with is the high blood pressure. So they put me on medication for that, but. Uh, there's something more to that. Uh, the doctor said that it's mostly spiritual. I see a Christian doctor. And I I have opened a lot of doors in my life, like the testimony that uh, Brother John Ramirez was talking right now. And uh, it, this is, there's a bunch of junk in, in my past. And this curses have... Now, I'm, now I have, I'm dealing with depression and anxiety. And now my oldest son is dealing with depression and anxiety. He's 33 years old. 
My youngest son is 23, and he's dealing with anxiety. Uh, they go, we go see the doctor, and there's nothing wrong. They check uh, vital, well, like heart and everything, and no. So they put me on medication for depression, and uh, I was just sleeping all the time, so I didn't take them anymore. So I'm just tired. I was talking to my wife this morning, and I was reading the book of Job, and I kind of sort of feel like Job, you know, sometimes. I don't, I'm not cursing God, but I'm angry because I don't see any healing, even though I pray and I pray and I pray. And I told my wife, maybe I sometimes, I, I, I am not at the point, like I said, like I told my nurse this, this afternoon in the office, I, I'm not saying that I'm going to commit suicide. No, 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 I didn't say that either. I'm just tired of living like this, you know. I what mean, are I you? Have no life. I mean, what what makes you anxious and brings this anxiety on? I know it's a spirit, but what is it focused around? This started about three years ago when I went into the emergency room with extremely high high blood pressure. Yep. And now I I it, it the way we feel is I get a headache, and I think it's a stroke. I get. Uh, Muscle pain or pain, little pain in my chest. I think it's a heart attack. Uh, any little, I mean, it just this ugly thoughts that come into my mind. Um, it fear of getting sick. I guess, Shannon. I mean, and my son, oldest son, is the same way. I mean, he goes to the doctor because he 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 gets weak, he gets dizzy, and the doctor says you're as healthy as a horse. I mean, there's nothing wrong with you. Well, what does that tell you? So, it, it tells you that what he said was true, and that's uh, it's a spirit. Uh, would you agree with the word which says that uh, fear hath torment? You feel torment, don't you? Yes, Shannon. Everything that Mel Novak was saying, all those ten points, I said, "Well, that's me. That's me. That's me. I got that. I got that." You know. And are you spending any uh, time in the word? No, I not a lot. No, no, I'm not. I, I got to be honest with you. I, I, I don't even have the desire. I go outside and I open my Bible, and then I close it. Who do you, you know? think it is that's responsible for trying to stop you or I and others from getting into God's Word? The enemy. And why do you think he wants to do that? Because he knows that there's power in the enemy. Word, and we renew our minds mm -hmm. through the hearing of God's Word. So if the enemy can keep us away from God's word, in his word is life, you know, then uh, it's like being cut off from that uh, herd of antelope that are running and they're being tracked by lions. You fall behind, uh -huh. uh, you get out from the pack, and those lions just single you off, they separate you, surround you, and then they go in for the kill. That's the way these demons work. If they can keep if they can keep us out of the word of God, how you know how long can you stick your head under water and hold your breath? Not, Not very forever. Long. How long right. can we go without food and water? Only you know three three, uh, three minutes without air. They say three days without water and twenty you know three three weeks without food. Right. right. Bottom line right. is uh, we know this to be a fact, but we really overlook the fact that our spirit man's got to be fed. And many of us probably look like an Ethiopian back in the 80s when they didn't have any food. Just ribs on our spirit man. Right. And the fact is, uh, whether it's me, you, whoever it is out there, if we're out of the Word of God, we're setting ourselves up for attack. If we're not praying, then uh, you know we're not in communication with the Lord. We're just cutting ourselves off. It's a choice. You've got to fight back. You've got to fight back. I've got to fight back. Whatever it is that's stopping us from getting in the Word, where our help's going to come from, praying, getting into some fellowship is important. Sometimes you got to fast. Some demons only come out with prayer and mm -hmm. fasting. It's not a bad idea to fast for 24 hours as God leads you. Have lunch one day. Don't eat until the next day at lunchtime. That's a suggestion. That's an easy way to uh, attack the fasting prop. The point I'm making here, though, okay. is uh, I think you've realized there's nothing wrong with you except spirits that are trying to attack you. The mm -hmm. Word of God says... Over in Philippians 4, 6, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known to the to God. That's why I asked you, what are you anxious about? Now, you're, you're worried. The enemy's putting a lie on you. Well, 
you're going you're to have a heart attack. The enemy's probably trying to tell you stroke. When that comes on, right? You got to realize that's not God. That's the enemy giving you some bait, hoping that you'll bite that hook, and he's got you trapped in. And now you don't. You're not thinking about anything else, but oh, I'm not going to make it. You got to fight. You got to fight, brother. Or you or be a, go out in a body bag. You got to rebuke that spirit in mm-hmm. Jesus' name. You got to say, Lord, help me. Give me a desire and a hunger and a thirst to get in Your Word. We're going to pray for you that He'll do that tonight. I have to do the same thing for me. He tries Amen. to keep me out of the Word, and I realize what when the attacks are coming heaviest. Well, have I been in the Word every day? No. Have I prayed more than a minute? No. Well, what do we expect? Right. And then did I fight back? No. You've got to fight back, or the enemy, he's not going to stop. He's a bully, and he'll keep punching you until you fight back. You get the warfare prayers. That's a great place to start if we don't know how to pray. Get the arsenal prayer at melnovac.com. Start praying that. Just read the Word of God aloud. Just say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get one chapter done today. If you, don't, if you can't read, there's one lady she can't read, and she she's paralyzed from the waist down, but she can listen to the Word of God. That's good, too. One lady tunes in the program. She says, I can't read. I'm almost blind. Well, then get the Word of God on a CD. And it'll still go through your ears. My point is, there's some things we can do. If we're not doing that, then don't be surprised by the attacks that are coming. You have to resist the devil, and then he will flee. It's so weird that you said what you said right now, that the the, 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 the devil's like a lion just, you know, prowling around, uh, seeing who can... And he said, and even my doctor says he says she even drew a picture. He says, "Look, Rick, this is you. I mean, this is the this is the devil right here." And then he says, "His little enemies, his little spirits at you." And what do you do? You run, you run. Instead of fighting, instead of fighting, Rick, you, you and then they what is, they take over you. They take over you. And my nurse told me the same thing today. She says, "Rick, don't give way to the enemy. When you you know when your arm starts feeling numb." Because you're getting out of your apartment, or you're going to go see the doctor, but it's just the enemy. I mean, putting physical effects in your body now. Brother, you know? there are people that make Hello? a lifetime. Can you still hear us? Yes, I can hear you now. There are people that make a lifetime career out of going to the hospital. They live for their next appointment with the doctor. Why? Yes. Asaph had a disease of the feet. Instead of trusting God, he trusted his doctor, and he died two years later. Why would God put that in the Word? Is that to say, well, you never go to a doctor? No, I'm not saying that. But God thought it important enough that he put it in there to say, where is our healing coming from anyway? You know, healing, deliverance, salvation comes from above, comes from God and the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to resist the devil, and he will flee. We've all got to resist the devil. We've been given armor. We've been given authority. Over all the power of the enemy to, to cast out these devils in Jesus' name, you've got to do some self deliverance. I try to remember to do it every day okay. because if I don't, then the enemy just uh, he clobbers me. And he's not going to let up on any of us. He's hoping that you take the easy way out and you just give up. One guy, no, he just said, I'm tired of fighting. I give up. And he gave up over to Satan and almost destroyed his family for 10 years. Wow. We can't afford to do that. You can't afford to be one of those no, that are no, the no. next documentary that jumped off the, the Golden Gate Bridge. They jumped off the bridge no, right into hell. Their trouble no. didn't end. We don't have it. We think we've got it bad now. If we take our life and give up and, and take, take and go commit suicide, the trouble has just begun. The only way out is Jesus Christ. Okay. Instead of running away from Jesus, we need to run to him. There's no other source of help. The good news is uh, he's quick to forgive. You mentioned some things that maybe you've done in the past. Have you repented of them? You still doing them? I have. I have. I have. I have, Shannon. Okay. Well, if you've asked Jesus to forgive you, then Jesus forgives. He doesn't remember it anymore. If the enemy throws it back up to you, and I rebuke it, say, hey, I've already been forgiven of that. I'm not going to receive that condemnation. Amen. Okay. So this is no no criticism towards you tonight. I'm just saying I understand where you're at tonight. But what I'm saying is is you, I, have, to, you I, have to fight back. Yeah. Or you're going to be a, a punching bag for the devil. Uh-huh. What do you say, Brother John? Did I lose Brother John? 
Hang on a second. I heard a click. That was Brother okay. John. He fell off. I heard a click, right. Yeah. Let's get him back on. The, the, I think he would agree with these statements here. We've got to fight back. Fight back or get run over like a pancake and left for dead on the side of the road. Roadkill. I don't know. You're roadkill. Brother John, do you want to be roadkill? On me? Do you want to let the enemy ride, run you over and then <laughs> left dead on the side of the road? I don't, I don't think that's going to happen, my brother, because I'm determined to fight. Hey, man, what, what do you do when the devil attacks and accuses you? But I, I attack him right back in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't, let him, I don't let him breathe. I attack him back to prayer. I attack him back to fasting. I attack him back to just trusting God and his word and letting the devil know that I have a future. Letting him know that I have a future. I have a tomorrow, and I'm going to heaven. He's not. So the same way he tried to mock me, I mock him right back. I, I, you got to be determined. You got to stand on your. You have to stand. Don't shrink back. Don't give no ground to the enemy because my brother, the devil, has shut you up and shut you down, and that is your situation. Now you have a bitterness with God, and a lot of Christians are going through that. A lot of Christians are getting angry with God, but no one is getting angry with the devil. The devil, devil is real. He's not a figment of our imaginations. He does come to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, John, what would you do if the devil says, "I'm going to kill you"? What, what's your response to it? I tell them, that ain't going to happen because the Bible says that no weapon formed against me is going to process. So you're wasting your time. You picked the wrong Christian. Move on. Hey, amen to that. Praise oh. he, he's a paper wow. line in one respect if you'll stand up to him and resist him in Jesus' name. He will have to go. Yeah, but if, go, my brother. You resist him, he will flee. Do you believe what the Word of God says? Yes, I do. Well, then stand on it. It's sharper than any okay. two-edged sword, and you've got to use the word against him. That's why you've got to be in it. That's why the enemy wants to keep you out of the word, because it's a weapon. When you know how to use it against him, like when you th spirit of fear. God hasn't given me a spirit of fear, but power and love and sound mind. I come against the spirit of fear and rebuke it in Jesus' name. You've just fought it back using the word of God. Or no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That's another weapon. How are we going to know what the weapons are if we're not in the word of God? No wonder the enemy wants to keep us out of the word. He'll try everything he can. He'll he'll put he'll send a phone call your way. He'll summon someone knocking on your door. He'll interrupt you with TV. He'll interrupt you with uh, anything he can. The internet, Facebook. He'll do everything he can to distract us, keep us bound up and tied up because he knows if we'll get in the Word of God, there's freedom through the Word in Jesus Christ's name. We're going to pray for you tonight, brother uh, Rick. Amen. Um, we're going to go yes, after anxiety yes. and fear. Just saying, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Forgive me. Forgive me. For giving into the spirit of anxiety. For giving into the spirit of anxiety. And letting this fear control me. And letting this fear control me. And letting worry. And letting worry. Just about uh, take me out just about take me out. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to deliver me. You are my deliverer. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to deliver me. You are my deliverer. And put in a hunger in me to get into your word. And put in a hunger to get into your word. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray right now. Brother John, you want to go after a spirit of anxiety? Absolutely, Shannon. You ready, my brother? Go for it. All right, just, just uh, you, Rick, right? Yes, Rick. Rick, all you have to say is say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Forgive me. Forgive me. For not trusting you. For not trusting you. For getting angry at you. For getting angry at you. And today I made a decision. And today I made a decision. I'm going to fight for me and my family. I'm going to fight for me and my family. To the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. Today, I renounce. Today, I renounce. And break every tie. And break every tie. With the spirit of anxiety. With, with the spirit of anxiety. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we bind the strong man and Rick. Father God, right now, we bind the strong man and Rick in the name of Jesus Christ. We command this devil and the demon, this far wicked spirit, to loose him now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
We break every pattern, every cycle of the devil in his mind. We demolish it in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out now, you foul wicked spirit. Loose our brother in Jesus' name. We command him to lose him now in the name of Jesus Christ. He renounce, he denounce any, any legal right that you had against his life, against his mind, against his will. In the name of Jesus Christ, you come out now, you foul wicked spirit. Manifest now and come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. We uproot you now. The blood of Jesus is against you. The Lord rebukes you in Jesus' name. Come out now and loose our brother, loose his family. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now, come out now, you far wicked spirit. We actually to loose our brother Rick. We're not talking to him. We're talking to the demon that been tormenting his mind. Father, right now, we break every cycle, every pattern of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command him to loose our brother. In Jesus' name, you come out now. You manifest right now, you far wicked spirit. We command you with loose angels right now to sow you out right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out now. Come out now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break anxiety. We break oppression, depression. We break high blood pressure in the name of Jesus Christ out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We break every sickness, my God, that the devil is trying to put against you. We break it in the name of Jesus Christ against your family. We uproot it right now. We cast it out in Jesus' name. We break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, high blood anxiety, unbelief right now. Break it in the name of Jesus Christ right now. We break it in Jesus' name. We break the spirit of fear, doubt. We break it out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We command it to loose you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break it, we sever it, we uproot it right now. In Jesus' name, we command it to loose you now. In Jesus' name, come out now, you far wicked spirit. We command it to loose our brother, oppression, depression. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. My brother will live. He will not die. He will not see pre premature death. In the name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke suicide. We rebuke the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out now. You lose our brother in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out in Jesus' name. Go ahead, Brother Shannon. I agree. We place every foul, wicked spirit operating in through or against you, in the judgment of God, and loose the judgments of God on those demons, in Jesus Christ's name. Come out of there. Take a deep cough there, Rick. Loose it right now. We come against the spirit of fear. Come out right now, in Jesus' name. All fear and the torment that goes with it, loose our brother and come out, in Jesus' name. Every bit of anxiety, stress, worry, doubt and unbelief, come out, in Jesus Christ's name. We break your power. In the name of Jesus, he doesn't want you. He's renounced you. Now, you come out right now. In the name of Jesus. Loose him right now. Fear of, fear of I'm going to have a stroke. Fear I'm going to die. Come out, you foul, wicked spirit. The Lord controls our brother's heartbeat. Now, you come out and he holds his heartbeat. Now, you come out in Jesus' name. Look, loose him. Let him go right now. We, Father God, we stand in the gap for our brother. If there be any unconfessed sins in the family history, we remit those sins in the name of Jesus. We break all family line curses off you right now and loose you from it. In Jesus' name, we break every word curse spoken over you at any time in your life. In the name of Jesus, command the curses and those spirits. Come out of Rick right now in Jesus' name. Loose them. Take a couple breaths there, Rick. Let them go. You've got to release it. You've got to trust in the Lord, brother. You've got to put your faith and trust in the Lord. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You have to have faith in the Word of God and stand on it, that it means what it says. Jesus says, I'll never leave nor forsake you. You've got to get in the Word, brother, and you've got to fight back and resist the devil, and he will flee. Now, Father God, we ask that you'd put a hunger and a thirst in our brother that will only be satisfied as he's getting in your Word. We bind up all double-mindedness in the name of Jesus and the spirit of confusion any deception, we rebuke it and command it to come out. Any condemnation and shame, come out of Rick in the name of Jesus. Father God, you have called him to be priest of his household. We ask that you would put a Holy Ghost boldness in him and a desire to get the Word of God and to do a Bible study in his home and invite his sons, any of the family there that are there that will come. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus over your body. We rebuke all spirits of premature death and destruction. Come out of him in Jesus Christ's name. Rick will live and die, live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Come out of him right now. All high blood pressure go. Fear and worry of dying, come out in Jesus Christ's name. Loose our brother and go right now. All infirmity, go in the name of Jesus. We speak to your body, be healed in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. We also lift up his wife to you. We plead the blood of Jesus over her. Over his uh, sons, Father God, we plead the blood of Jesus over them. We ask that you unloose mercy and grace and goodness on them, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. And we thank you for what you're going to do 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask God you loose ministering spirits in him right now of power and love and sound mind in the name of Jesus. We command these unclean spirits the Lord Jesus wants out tonight to continue to come out tonight and not return in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Rick, do you have uh, the Arsenal Prayer by Mel Novak? Yes, I do. Keep praying that. That's and, uh, a I'm good gonna, place to I'm start. I'm going to start reading it because, yeah. Okay, I will do that. That will help you. You can add to it. But that's just a good way to get the jump started. But, brother, I, I believe the Lord is telling me that your main issue right now is you're not spending enough time with him in the Word. Now, whether you do it in the morning or at night or midday, you've got to work out those details. But, brother, you've got to get in the Word like I do. And I would encourage you to do it every day for the next two weeks and then call in and report on your situation. I want to hear what's going on. Where do I start reading in the Word, Shannon? What's a good place to start? Oh, brother, go to the Psalms. Go to the Psalms. Start with the Psalms. Go to, from the Psalms. Psalms, okay. Work your way up to the Gospels. You know, John, Luke, Matthew, uh, you know, Go okay. to Psalms, you know, Psalms 91, Psalms 27, Psalms 23, Psalms 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Beautiful Psalm. Read them. Okay. Let them go and go to Proverbs, the first, first, the first five chapters in Proverbs. Awesome chapters. You know, there's a lot There's a lot of meat in the Word. Go there. You know, if you read five okay. Psalms a day, you'll be done with it in a month. And one really cool way to do it is you start... Uh, you take today's date, which is the 11th of December, and go read um, right. read Psalms 11. Add 30 to it, which is 31. Add 30 to it again, which is 61. You keep adding 30 till you've read 5. Don't ask me why, but God, I believe, set it up. <laughs> it's pretty amazing that when you read 5 a day and you add 30 to it, um, you'll find out, wow, these Psalms really go hand in hand here. You read five a day is wow. the point. In a month's time, you're done. If you read one proverb a day, you'll be done in Proverbs in a month. I say read a proverb, read a psalm, as Brother John mentioned, and then get over and start in the gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay. And you know what you do okay. is uh, just get a piece of paper and write down every day what you read so you can pick up where you left off the next day. Start reading okay, and spend some time with the that. Lord, and you watch what happens. As you fill your mind with the Word of God... Uh, there's not much room left for the enemy to get in there <laughs> and fill it with That's the things true, of this you know, world. And, and, and he has stole so much from me. I, I am a master licensed electrician. I'm yep. 50, I just turned 57 on Sunday. And he has paralyzed me from working for three years. Right, maybe Three years? About two years, two and a half years, I have not worked a day. And Physically paralyzed uh, or mentally and spiritually? Well, no, no, just mentally, mentally paralyzed. I mean, I, 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 I fear to go out. I used to be a go-getter. I used to be a hustler to go do electrical work. You know, I mean, I've been doing this for thirty something years already. Well, we come against this spirit and, of fear and spirit of paralysis, amen. Which has come against you amen. to attack you in this area. We rebuke it in amen. the name of Jesus, and we command it to go right now and loose our brother and go. In the name of Jesus, every yes. spirit that has kept them from using it. the gifts that God has given you and to go out and earn a living, we rebuke you and command you to come out of our brother and go and not return in the name of Jesus. We loose angels of God to attack that spirit day and night in the name of Jesus. We loose the judgments of God on that demon responsible in the name of Jesus. Father God, I'm asking you to loose favor for Rick. Put in a desire and a motivation in him, Lord, to go back and Get back into that line of work according to your will and open up some doors for for a job and that you would bless the fruit of his hands in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Rick, God bless you for calling in tonight. I will brother. call back in two weeks and give you a good praise report. You know, I recommend you get the word. You have a lovely wife there. You all get around the table with some coffee or whatever you drink, and you take turns yes. uh, reading some verses together. Maybe you let her read a psalm, you read a psalm. And then you take turns over in the okay. Gospels and read. The family that reads the Word of together, together stays together. I believe that. Just like it says, the family that prays together stays together. Amen. Also, the family that does deliverance together. We can't leave that one out. That was Brother Rick. Let's, uh, let's see. Look at the clock. We've got about another 15 minutes. Let's go to the next caller, 215. You're on the air with John Ramirez. Hello, 215. Can you hear us? 
215. Do a sound check. Brother John, can you hear me? I'm here. Okay, we'll go to the next caller then. We've got a couple more. Let's go to 516. We'll come back again 215 in a minute. Okay, let's go to 516. Hello, caller. Can you hear us? Yes, hello. That's you, sir. Where are you calling from tonight? Uh, Long Island, New York. Hey, welcome aboard. What's your name? My name is Jonathan Weber. Hey, Je- Weber, how do you spell your last name? W-E-B-B-E-R. You know what? We might be related. My grandfather's name is Weber. Hmm. Where are your folk from? Uh, Tennessee and Virginia. Really? Mine are from Lyons, Georgia, but came over from Germany on that side. But my grandfather's name is Weber, W-E-B-B-E-R. Hey, that's pretty amazing. Well, praise God. God bless you. Uh, Jonathan? Yeah, thank you. How can yes. we help you tonight? Well, um, I got some issues here. I mean, I have some awesome testimony, but let me let me just say, um, I, I suffered beyond all imagining earlier in my life and very, very severe mental illness, much worse than anything any of those people were going through. And uh, somehow... Uh, God gave me, like, one more chance to come to him. And I responded. And uh, he healed me, but he didn't just take it away. It was years and years of suffering and getting through the impossible to get to where I am now. I suffered for years through the impossible over and over, right? But for some reason, there's one feeling that does, that's not going away, that uh, that um, I, feel, I feel like if I die now, I'll still be going to hell. And... Uh, the devil's telling me that because it was me the whole time, I faked it the whole time. The devil's saying he faked it the whole time all along, and that I never really was saved. And the only way to uh, to get um, saved is if I renounce everything that I, that I feel that like God has done for me over all this time. Well, that's definitely a lying spirit. You yes, know, it is. Stealing your peace and joy. The thing is, I have I have a very very severe mental illness called a very, very severe schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder that I went through. But it was more than that. I know it was the demon stuff. It wasn't just illness, because it was worse than any of those people were going through. But I've been delivered from all that. Well, but you the know, problem is that get, I have God. this feeling that I'm still going straight to hell, and it's this, this hovering over me, this darkness, and it won't go away. Well, you know um, what? The deliverance comes bit by bit. It's like an onion. You peel back one layer at a time. Now, God can do whatever he wants to do, but usually what he does is he gives us our freedom back, uh, piece by piece because he wants yeah, you to learn how to fight it. and how to hold the ground when you get it so I do believe that you've received some deliverance yet there may be other things yet to be uncovered it's not a salvation hey, 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 issue yeah. it's just there's Wait. torment it's not a salvation issue because uh, if you've asked Jesus Christ to come in your heart he has he's written your name in the Lamb's Book of Life now if you're being harassed, tormented, and driven that's the work of demons and they yes, do I'm saying all of them. So, well, yes. So what I'm saying to you is uh, the fact that you be still being tormented in some areas. That doesn't. I, I was a blasphemer, a very horrible blasphemer. Okay. And very, very horrible. And uh, the enemy won't get off of me, telling me that he lied and he faked it the whole time, and that I, I committed the unpardonable sin, and that's why I'm going straight to hell, and there's no way to go in heaven, and that you renounce everything that happened. That delivered you. No, that's a, that's a lie. To me constantly. That's, he won't get off of it. That's a lie from the uh, of hell. You know, look, the fact that you feel some conviction means the Holy Spirit hasn't forsaken you, brother. You haven't committed the unpardonable sin. But you know what? Praise God that um, you realize that, hey, you need more of Jesus, like we all do. And that's what deliverance mm-hmm. ministry is about. So we're going to pray for you tonight um, and Not go after no, some of these spirits. Okay, just one last the one, the one last thing I gotta say, I was also suffering some, some, from physical extreme muscle weakness and all that stuff, and um, I'm also suffering from, um, I, I'm losing my hearing and everything like that. And the doctors are saying they can't find. And they went through them several times, and they keep saying there's nothing wrong. They can't find anything wrong. And um, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so um, how old are you right now, Jonathan? The thing, I think that what is going on here, I haven't been reading the word like I'm supposed to be. Okay. You know, I, I like just like the man that, that 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 you spoke with. Yes, I haven't been reading the word like I'm supposed to be, and I think that's the devil's using that to manipulate me. Brother John, go ahead. Uh, what is your comment? My comment. Let me. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Brother John Ramirez. Did I lose Brother John? 
I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm sorry, brother John. John, what's your comment? Uh, is it important to be in the Word of God? It's important to be in the Word of God. We need we need to pray for this brother. Break some some demonic strongholds in your mind, my brother. The devil has created some demonic strongholds in your mind. You need to release those things. You're not a blasphemer. You're a man. You're a child of God. You need to renew your mind daily. And the way you renew your mind is through the Word of Jesus Christ, through some preaching, some awesome worship. You need to start renewing your mind. Your mind is stuck, my brother. That that's what's going on. When your mind is stuck, your body gets sick. Understand? Your body gets yes. sick. And your mind is stuck. So it's like Lot's wife. Life's wife was delivered from Sodom and Gomorrah, but her mind was so stuck that she had to look back, and she ended up being, instead of being a movement for God, she became a monument for God. So right now, brother, we need to pray against your mind. You have a python spirit wrapped around your mind, and, and, and it's, just, it's, it's like having a CD playing over and over and over, playing the same thing, hitting the rewind button. The devil just keep playing the same thing over and over in your mind. So we need we need to break that cycle. We need to break that pattern over your mind, my brother. And then you need to get into, like Shanna say, you need to get you need to dive yourself into the Word of God and 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 start renewing your faith, start renewing your mind, start renewing your spirit, man, yeah. in the Word of God, Amen. And that's and when you do that, you do that for a good thirty days. I guarantee you, you never you're not gonna be the same. You'll be you you'll be you'll be you'll, your body will to go. Your body will be coming. Your body will come into order. All these things that are happening in your body, will, will, they will leave in Jesus' name. Jonathan, yeah, do you have uh, internet connection? Yes, I do. You have a pen and paper right now? Yes. yes. Okay, I want you to write this website down. I'm going to give you some special instructions. Thank you. I want you to go to melnovac.com. M-E-L-N-O-V-A-K.com. Mm -hmm. M-E-L-N-O-V-A-K.com. And I want you to look for a thing called the Warfare Prayer, God's Arsenal Prayer for Protection. You'll see it under the link that says Warfare Prayers. I want you yeah. to print it out. Are you married? Thank you. No, I'm not. And I, and okay. I have another problem with that. I'm I'm having like uh, I have also have having a problem with you know. So I'm I'm, I'm having a small problem Spirits with of lust? a little bit. A little bit. Are you? So I'm saying like I'm doing it's. It's feeding. Um, I'm, yeah. half, I'm really like I'm 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 becoming partially I'm impotent like that right now because of that. Well, you don't need to use that part if you're not married. You know, that's for marriage, but the point is, is it driving you to things like lust and, I mean, pornography, anything like that? Oh, no, nah, I, I I wouldn't go that far. We're going to pray yeah. for you tonight, but here's what I want you to do. When you get that warfare prayer, and in addition to reading the Word of God every day, I want you to pray that every day. I also the want war. you to, uh, the warfare prayer, I also want you to call me back in about two days, Friday night. I'm going to have more time. We're going to be able to pray with you. If you want to call mm -hmm. Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, we'll pray with you again. But we're going to say All a right, prayer man. for you right now and go after this. Take it over, Brother J.R. Father, right now we lift up our brother Jonathan, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bind the strong man in this man. Father God, we come against the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we, we rebuke the devil in Jesus' name out of his mind. We come against that cotton spirit. My God, we come against any sickness that the devil is trying to create in his body in the name of Jesus Christ. Paranoia has to leave in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Father God, we break it in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind the strong man in Jesus' name. Father God, we ask the devil to loose his brother right now. Loose him now in Jesus' name. You fire with your spirit have been assigned to him. You loose him now in Jesus' name. Come out now. You fire with your spirit. We come in to lose our brother we command you to manifest in jesus name come out now come out now in the name of jesus christ we break through the sphere unbelief we break the spirit of blasphemy in the name of jesus christ come out now you fire wicked spirit of blasphemy come out now in the name of jesus christ this brother is he is look at the seal and his spirit he belongs to Jesus Christ. Come out now, you fire with your spirit. We command you to loose our brother right now. We break every pattern, every cycle of the devil in his mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break anxiety. He has to leave oppression, depression. Come out now. Sickness, come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out and loose him now. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ and loose him in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. We command you to loose him now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, Brother Shannon. Father God, in Jesus right Christ's now. mighty name, I'm in agreement with Brother John and the other believers out there. Hallelujah. We find this strong man and every foul, right wicked spirit right now. operating in Brother Jonathan in the name of Jesus. Lord, right now. I place every demon working inside or against you in the judgment of the Lord. Loose the judgments and the fire and destruction of God on you foul spirits right now in Jesus Christ's name. Jonathan, take a deep cough. Right now. Hallelujah. Take a cough out of your stomach, brother. <laughs> I'm loose. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out. All schizophrenia. Come out in Jesus' name. 
image. All oh, mind control spirit. <laughs> Double I'll, mindedness. I'll, I'll, I'll. Witchcraft mind control. Mind binding right spirits. Now. We break your power in Jesus' name. Loose them and come out right now. <laughs> the, spirit, <laughs> the spirit of destruction. This lying spirit that tells him he's not saved. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Every spirit talking to him and in said, the name of Jesus Christ, get out of me. I had enough for you. Get out of here. Surround in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to attack these spirits. Just breathe out, brother. Come out. Come out. All of condemnation and shame. Come out. Come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out, brother, come out of our brother in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every right spirit of deception. Ah! Angels of God, surround the demons and begin to soar them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. Well, not hurt our brother. You're going to manifest and come out. Thank you. You're going to go to where the Lord you. Jesus sends you. Loose him right now. Loose come his mind in the name of Jesus. Ah! Just fight. Focus over this fight. brother in his lifetime in Jesus' name. Father God, we stand in the gap, brother John and I, and the believers out there. We confess any sins of the ancestors of Brother Jonathan. Anything that has brought a family line curse down on him, right in Jesus repent name. that sin. We break the family line curse in Jesus' name. Be released from it right now. Be right loosed now. in the name of Jesus. All curses and spirits came down the generational line. Come out of our brother right now. In the name of Jesus, loose You're going to go where the Lord Jesus sends you. We loosen you power, love, and sound mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Mind be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, right amazing now. that you said that. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. Keep going Thank on, Brother you. John. Thank you, Lord. Brother oh, John, God. we are coming. Up. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. We just lost him. I knew we were coming up on the uh, top of the hour, but I wrote his number down. Brother J.R., are you still there? I'm here. I want to thank you for uh, coming on tonight. Um, Thank you, my brother, for having me. Folks, once again, if you would like to find out more about uh, Brother John's testimony, you want to get this book. It's an awesome book for you to read, for you to give as a gift to someone else, to show the power of God over the enemies, dark forces, and the ability of Jesus Christ to set the captives free. You can set Brother John and me free. You can set you free tonight. In Jesus' name, it's called Out of the Devil's Cauldron. And uh, Brother John, you will send an autographed copy. If someone would like to make a love offering tonight to your website? Yes. Yes, if they make a love offering of $50 or better, I would, to Angel Tree, I would send them a, a signed copy to wherever they want me to send it, and it will be a blessing to them, a blessing to anyone they want to give it to. Amen? At johnramirez.org, they can go there and hit the donation button. Praise the Lord. Now, that's johnramirez.org. Uh, Brother John, tell us again, where are you going to be? And if you- I'm going to be down in Orlando, Florida. Uh, this coming, you go to my website, and uh, the address is there. The phone number is there. If you want more information, go there. I'm going to be this, this coming Sunday. I'm going to be preaching two services on, on that Sunday, 930 service, and also the 1130 service. It's going to be powerful. I know the Lord is going to meet us there, and it's going to be a lot of transformation, a lot of deliverance, and uh, a lot of spiritual warfare. So uh, I, I, anyone in there, and also I, I believe there's going to be a link on my, on my Facebook, and uh, people can uh, also stream it live uh, that morning. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Brother John, we'll see you on again real soon, brother. We love you. Thank you, my brother. Love you. God bless you. You can Talk add John soon. also as a friend up on Facebook, John Ramirez. God bless you, brother Amen. John. God bless you. Thank you. Good night, my friend. Praise God. Folks, for those that are still out there listening on MixLR, uh, we're going to start this program here momentarily. Uh, brother John, do I have you on the line? Praise God. Brother John Terrell, can you hear me? Uh, check your mic, Brother John. I can hear um, the connection has been made, but your mic may be muted. Can you hear me now? Okay, I want you to uh, stand by, Brother John, and I'm going to call you right back, and we'll get this uh, program started. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, hang on a second, folks. I'm getting some feedback here. I've got a setup for the next program. Stand by. Brother John, can you hear me? Hello? Brother John, can you hear me? Check your mute button. We have made connection, but all I'm getting is a little bit of muffle. Hello, Brother John. Uh Okay, I'm getting a little bit of volume, but uh, I'm not getting anything through your microphone. 
All right, no worries. Brother John, if you can hear me, you hold on. I'm going to be calling you back in just a moment. Okay. <laughs> Praise God. I bind every foul, wicked spirit working against this program tonight in Jesus' name. Okay, here's what I've got to do. We've got two shows to go. I'm going to take Nick Sungar down for just five minutes. I need to save the previous program, and uh, then we're going to crank it right back up. In the meantime, if you'd like to go on over to Blog Talk Radio Channel 2, you can get there from the website of MegamanRadio.com. We're going to crank it up there, and then we'll bring in the MixLR stream in just a bit. Don't go away. We'll be right back with Brother John Terrell. 